Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my last video was a Primark haul. I'm also going to be filming this week a very exciting pack my hospital bag or what's in my hospital bag video. Can't wait to show you all of that. Um, now my hospital bag organisers have arrived. But I also wanted to film a vlog this week because I've actually got quite a few fun and exciting things happening. Today is Monday, I'm working all week. We've got a course later on this evening, which is an infant feeding session. We've got a course on Wednesday to go to, that's actually a face-to-face -face one, a health visitor antenatal sort of class. So really looking forward to that. Um, and also there'll be some prep for my baby shower. So I'm gonna get my nails done. I'm gonna um, sort my hair out, re my eyebrows. So I just thought, why not film a little vlog, compile a couple of days together and just see whether or not you enjoy the vlog content as you did like my last vlog. So yeah, come along and spend a few days with us. I'm not sure I might vlog up until like Thursday um, and then I am gonna vlog our baby shower too. So the baby shower is actually girls only and then later on in the afternoon the guys are gonna come round. So I think that will be really fun and special. Um, my mum and my sister-in-law are organising the entire thing. I genuinely feel so lucky to have the kindest family ever um, and the most supportive people in the world for baby girls. So yeah, come along and spend the week with us. So I've just come out to do the food shop and normally we shop at Tesco but all of their fridges and freezers are down so I've just come over the road to Lidl and I'm going to treat myself to some flowers because I love having fresh flowers and haven't had any in a while. But yeah, hopefully we can get what we need from here instead. So that wasn't the most successful food shop and right now I am boiling hot. We are certainly going to have to pop out again to get some more bits, but I've got a couple of dinner options. Um, some of the fridge bits we needed, but like Marmite, jam, stuff like that I wasn't able to get, the big waters I wasn't able to get, and some dinner bits. So I've got enough stuff just to see us through for a couple of days. So yeah, I'm gonna put it so all in. So our order from Mamas and Papas has arrived. This is the first thing we got, which is a vibrating sound bouncer. She's gonna absolutely love that. Babe, do you wanna grab it out of the box for me? And then I can show them the second thing we got. Oh my gosh, look at her little play mat. That is so nice, her little play mat. I'm going to voice over this section because I just filmed a few clips as a keepsake for Sam and I. But as you can see, we put together her bouncer and then we moved on to putting together her play mat. Absolutely love the cloud theme that we've gone for. Really nice and neutral and Sam was just a star putting all of this together. Whilst you can see in a moment, I was a lot of help bouncing on my ball and just passing him things. But yeah, it was so much fun. I also thought I would include some clips from when Sam and I put together Baby Girl's pram. We've gone for the Mamas and Papas Oracaro pram and you can see Sam and I having a little push of the pram and trying it out in store at Southampton and just wanted to say a huge thank you to the team at Southampton for helping us choose the pram. We are so happy with it and it really is beautiful as well but yeah I wanted to add this clip in as well we went and got it a little while ago and now we have put it up um, and it is at his parents house ready waiting for baby girl And then it was time to set up the car seat. So time to put the car seat in now. Sorry, I was just too busy talking. <laughs> oh, right, it says clip that. Push it up, there we go. 
Okay, so Sam and I did an order from this company, Honey Lane Kids, for the maternity bag organisers. Comes with a pack of 15. And I have got um, my hospital bag, but it's ready pretty much. I've just got to put everything into these. So we've got this one, which is Baby Essentials. Then we've got quite a big one, which is Mum's Essentials. Um, they don't actually have a Dad's Essentials one, but I'm sure we will just put his bits in. <clears throat> we'll just put his bits in the bag anyway. But we've got blankets and swaddles. And then they are the larger bags. Then you have these smaller bags. So we've got here Mum's Essentials, Nightwear. That's the size of them. Oh, can you see? That's the size of them ones. Um, nappies and wipes. There's one for pads, body suits, underwear, sleep suits, feeding essentials. Can't wait to pick her out, foam outfit. Essential. Everybody said you'll need one of these. The snacks bag, a toiletries bag. And also a dirty washing bag, which is, again, something essential. You don't know how long you'll be in hospital for. So when you come back, you can then pop everything in the wash. Just to show you how much bigger these larger bags are. That is the size of the larger one. We've ones. got everything we need now, haven't we? Yeah. Happy? Happy. Look at him in his blue outfit. Looking very nice with his fresh haircut. But yeah, now we've got to go over the road, haven't we, to home bargains. Yeah. That's Sam's car, by the way, guys. You might never have seen it. It's Instagram if you want to follow him. You have to put up with when you date a car guy. <laughs> Does anybody else go and do a food shop and then end up at the Golden Arches? <laughs> what are you having, babe? It's a big taste of bacon. Yeah, yeah, I'm much again. I'm stuck between that and the double quarter pound of cheese, but I get that most of the time. Big tasty is not always around. Why are you hurting my face for? <laughs> <laughs> So on Wednesday evening, we headed out to the hospital to go to an infant feeding session. It was our first face-to-face -face course that we've been on so and it was I'm so out good. I'm nail salon. I have had a whole new set. I went for the almond shape this time because I wanted just nice, short, natural nails like my natural nail shape as opposed to square what I've had before. Make sure it's in focus. With a little white love heart just in the corner just a really small detail and these will be my baby shower nail and then yesterday because um i just didn't want to stay in there for too long um yesterday i got a pedicure done so that's just pale pink toes yeah just pale pink toes for a pedicure hi guys so it is now friday which is officially what day is it my baby shower prep day <laughs> <laughs> So my mum and my sister-in-law have very kindly took on board me saying I'd love to have a baby shower but I've never been to one and have no idea what to expect with one but I would love to have a baby shower. My mum and dad kindly offered to host and pay for everything which is very generous of them and today both booked the day off of work and get the last few bits so we're going up to Tesco now to get the food. Um, We've already got loads and loads of Prosecco, haven't you, Mum, for all of the guests <laughs> for their arrival drinks, apart from me. Mum's already got so much stuff for the baby shower. Um, I've gone and got some decor pieces. Um, actually, a couple of things managed to pick up at car boot sales, which was really, really good. I don't know a lot about the baby shower at all. It's mostly all a surprise, but I wanted to just be on hand to help my mum today, um, just to go get the food and also i wanted to be in charge of the guest bags um so like the it's the favors isn't it is that what like it's called baby. yeah so the baby shower favors and i really wanted to choose what went in there um i've got everybody the cutest little key ring um yeah, I think <laughs> I don't want to say it all in case I put this video out before, but it probably won't be out and <laughs> before Saturday anyway. We shower favors are lovely, so I just want to put them all together in the bag. And then Josie has super, super kindly 
designed all of the games with mum's help um, but she is very arts and crafty isn't she RJ? Very gifted. Yeah she's very gifted and I will certainly leave her details in the baby shower video in case anybody is looking for inspiration um, and needs somebody to go to um, to get bits from because even though I haven't seen them, I just know how talented she is and they're going to be amazing. So I'm going to take you around for the baby shower prep um, and add this into the current week's vlog. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. And then I'm going to film the baby shower and ask my friends and my family to all take some clips and send them over to me so I have enough footage to upload a baby shower vlog, which is exciting. So yeah, I will see you all shortly. Successful Tesco shop. I know Mum's done another one as well. And then these are my bits that I'm getting some bras, got a Father's Day card, got some more bits that I'll need. And yeah, oh, you can see my nails oh. again. <laughs> oh gosh having the funniest afternoon ever my dad my brother and my mum are setting up the garden um just doing like all of the tables and the chairs and i'm just demanded and they're, filling my, they're filling my dad's boat up with things <laughs> oh i'm supposed to not gonna have the boat out in the garden for people to sit in it's got cakes in it wine in it ornaments and everything that what a boat should have. Yeah. So I am doing the party bag favours for our guests. So I ordered these pink gift bags. Um really really like them. I think they're a decent size. Probably are a little bit too big for what's gonna go in them but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um and I was gonna go for white bags and then maybe just like a hello baby sticker or something but Sam said to me, why don't we get pink bags? We're having a baby girl. And they didn't have any baby pink ones, so we've gone for like a fuchsia pink. So all of the bags are here, ready to be filled. One item I wanted to put in everybody's bag was a key ring, and they are elephant themed. So baby girl's first gift when we announced we were having a baby was actually from my mum and dad, and it was a little elephant teddy um, for her. and ever since then i have just been obsessed with elephants so these are the elephants with a little pink feature and then they came with the little gift bag and it says thank you and everybody's going to be getting filled in these little baby bottles which have already been done so i don't need to do them some sweeties got these cone bag popcorn and my sister-in-law ordered these stickers baby pink pens and they say it's a girl it's cost my guests love what we have done for them um, and I'm going to do a little time lapse of some of the things that I'm doing and then I'll show you the finished result. I thought I would add in a small clip of mum and I filling up the cone bags with the popcorn, adding on the personalised stickers. We actually found this a really affordable way to make a personalised baby shower favour item and I would totally recommend it. So all of the popcorn is now done. So these ones are toffee popcorn and then we have got salted popcorn and then my mum did all of these sweet bottles so you got wine gums jelly babies and these will all go in their baby shower favor bag Thank you. ever busy yes <laughs> she's doing the best she can little card so we're just filling up all of the baby shower favor bags and I will insert a little clip of everything that's inside. We've done four and we've got quite a few more to go. <laughs> You're terrible at maths. <laughs> yeah, not my forte. And I don't think I'd be very good having a packing job either, to be fair. Hopefully everybody gets one of each. This will put you in good stead for baby's first birthday. Yeah. I think of the party bags went up there. For you to watch it all, but yeah, I'm going to crack on so now. So this is everything going inside of their baby shower bag. So we've got the little elephants, the is a girl pen, the sweets, the popcorn stickers, and this beautiful message, which my mum has just allowed me to read. But yeah, that's going to be everything that goes in there. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you to my sister-in-law for designing these and also my mum for Thanks doing for watching. Everything. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below and I will see you all on Sunday for my baby shower vlog and haul video.